pretty tragic car history, if I'm honest. Yeah. I got started with motorsport uh, when I was, well, I got a kart when I was four, and then started racing karts when I was eight. From then that transpired to national karting championships when I was nine, and then one thing turns into another. At the age of 15, I wanted to leave uh, karting and just kind of had enough with it. Uh, we weren't really having the success that we wanted and, and wanted to, to kind of move away from that. We went to the Geneta Junior Championship and the last seven years is history, so... Yeah, it's been a, a good but fun ride. I think the highlight's got to be Croft. Um, we won the race and that that's what we live for as a racing driver. Um, I think that's got to be my highlight. It was just an amazing feeling and that that is what will live with me for, for the rest of the time. Looking out is just kind of put the person off. You can force them into a mistake or start defending over defending then then you've got a chance to attack and get through. So, you know, that's that's what you've got to do. That's why when I was behind the Zell today, it was just getting in his mirrors, trying to make him make a mistake, try and make him go wide, set something off. And in the end, it paid off. He made a little mistake, ran wide. That gave me the chance to go through. Straight after this, we've got a touring car test coming up on Tuesday. So really looking forward to that with uh, Sicily Motorsport in the Wicks racing car. Um, after that, We'll start to work towards deals for next year um, to see see what happens. Um, naturally, I'd like to come back and try and win Cleo Cup. So, you know, that's definitely on the cards at the moment. So we, we just got to put that deal together and see. But yeah, you know, I, I basically basically do um, race driver instructing, and, um, and that's that's my job basically. Do a bit of freelance marketing and, and basically spend the rest of the time getting the sponsorship together to do this. Yeah, I mean, I don't really need to, to dance around the subject. I mean, a season in Clio's is probably £100,000. A season in British Touring Cars is 300, probably more like £500,000. For an 80, well, for a 22-year-old to go and get that amount of money is, is not easy. So you have to be creative and clever in what you do and what you offer to be able to do so. So that's why I went to uni to study a degree so I can keep doing what I love doing. What do I like outside of racing? gym work, marketing to get myself racing, this uh, racing. If you want to do this at this level, you can't do much else. You know, you do, you race the cars. You know, I sometimes have a chill out with my friends, which which is great, but, you know, if one of them's here and he'll tell you how much time I spend with him over the course of a year. Not a lot. So, you know, it, I, I'm just a, a generally a busy person and, and I've got a lot of stuff to do to make sure that I can keep doing what I love doing. Straight into meetings now for next year. Um, you know, we've got a car to decide whether we, what, what we're doing there and sort that out and start getting ready for next year, basically. So we, we've got six months to mean that it's coming to the best shape. So when I leave here next, I, uh, I'm leaving here as championship leader. I'd like to be in British Touring Cars. Um, for the long term future. Um, you know, I watched the scenes today with Gordon Shedden winning the championship and said to my mum and a few other people, so I'm going to do that one day. So, And I, I really mean that. So I, I want to work towards doing so and, and hopefully one day I can uh, stand on top step of a podium and be British Trunk champion. I've got a 1.5 diesel Clio. Um, I used to have a Fiat Ciento, like the one out of in between us, which was rapid. Um, so yeah, that was pretty terrible, pretty tragic car history if I'm honest. Um, I don't have a nice car because I haven't got any money to spend on getting one. I spend it all on this, so it doesn't really bother me. It gets me around the country and it's cheap on fuel, so I worry about my diet all the time. And no, <laughs> In all seriousness, um, yeah, you know, it's an important part of what we do. Um, you know, you've got to, you've got to keep fit. And um, I've lost seven kilos since Snetterton. So it kind of shows you kind of, really the supposed to dedication that I've had towards achieving this third place. You know, I've not kind of sat on my laurels and just gone, right, it's going to come to me. You know, I've, I've been working hard since then, um, since I finished uni, to, to get myself back into the best shape I can be. Yeah, you know, I try and watch what I eat, try and, you know, drink plenty of water and, and do that kind of thing. Generally, over the last um, three months, I've been in the gym five days a week. So, yeah, Monday run, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the gym, Friday cycle. And if I don't cycle on a, a Friday, then I'll cycle on the weekend. If I don't cycle on the weekend, then I'll do a cycle before I do my run on Monday. So, 
you know that's what I do and um, you know I think when it's bad weather or when it's raining it just motivates me to go more because I think everybody else isn't doing this and that's what's going to make the difference so if I just keep doing that then fantastic. So mum and dad come to everything as they can, uh, mum works in a primary school so she will come Friday night, dad comes with me on Thursday so um, yeah it's a real family affair, we have a lot of people around the team which I know you've experienced this weekend so yeah it's fantastic, full of friends and family and wouldn't want it any other way. I just love what I do and if I can pass that on to other people who also love what I'm doing then fantastic so you know I like to have happy smiley people around me when I'm out racing and if I can have that I generally got a smile on my face and I'll go and enjoy it and, and do all right so that's what I want. Uh, so yeah the best thing I can recommend for a young driver wanting to get involved in motorsport get a go-kart get to your kart track and go and have some fun if you can't afford to buy a kart go and do some higher karting which is a relatively cheap form of getting into it just go and enjoy it and build up from there hopefully you can uh, achieve something like the level of success that, that I have. I don't really think there's much that I don't like about what I do. Yeah, it'd be nice to have more time to go and chill out with my friends and, you know, 22, so it'd be nice to go to the pub and have a few beers every now and again, but... See you later. But, you know, quite honestly, I love doing what I'm doing and, you know, I wouldn't change any of it. And, you know, the biggest buzz that we get as drivers is when we win races or finish on the podium or get pole position or fastest laps and that's what I live for. That's what gives me my rush and that's what I'll keep chasing.